Have you ever been arrested by God? In Acts chapter 9, a man by the name of Paul is going to look back on his early days when God got a hold of him. In Philippians chapter 3 verse 12, he says, God seized me. The word in Greek means arrested. God took a hold of me. I'm saying this for a reason. You're not the one dialing up heaven. Heaven is the one dialing up you. Jesus says in John 15, 16, you didn't choose me. I chose you and I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. That's why you don't give up on anybody. That's why you pray for people, because heaven can invade earth and change the heart of the most wicked human being walking around with two legs or one leg or no legs. Paul the Apostle's traveling from Jerusalem to Damascus to kill Christians. He's going to grab them. He's going to throw them into prison. He doesn't really care about what happens to them. While he's on his way to blind the very people that belong to the new Christianity called the way, he's going to become blinded himself. A voice from heaven, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? A theophany. Jesus Christ appears in the light and Saul will say, who are you, Lord? How interesting. He knew it was the Lord. And Jesus will say, why are you persecuting me? In other words, when you're touching his people, you're touching him. Now, God has the ability to take the most ferocious beast of a persecutor and turn him into the greatest missionary in the New Testament age. The Bible has the ability to take a man who hates all that God stands for, believing he's killing people in the name of God, and then turn him on his head so that not only is he blinded, but he becomes submissive, and he starts to write what God says is his Bible, his book. It's what we're reading today. God knows how, because of his power, to accost you if you don't want to do what it is he's commanding you to do. So here's the prayer, everybody. You ready? Whoever it is that's finding themselves in complete rebellion against God, the prayer is, God, do whatever it takes. Whatever it means for you to seize, take hold of, arrest, that the Son, Galatians chapter 1, verse 15 and 16, would become evident in the life of that person. God, do it. Because when God goes to work, you're not choosing him. He is choosing you.